So hello, hello, and happy midweek Wednesday to my Leos. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your midweek reading. Leos, we are moving towards a full moon in one of your sister signs, Aries. So you all are already fire signs, so this is going to get some extra fire up under you to inspire you to change. You're a fixed sign, like Aquarius is a fixed sign, which is your polarity sign. You're a fixed sign also like Scorpio and Taurus, um, but like you and Aquarius are divine masculine. The other ones are divine feminine signs. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it and see how Mars, because Aries is ruled by Mars. Let's see how that's going to affect you as a Leo. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. You have the questions that I gave you from this past Sunday reading, as well as this past Monday reading. And so you may want to put those in a spreadsheet and document even your smallest accomplishments because they may be big for you. They may seem like they're small to somebody else, but this is going to help you to learn how to assert yourself and to take action so that you can create the universe, you know, that is perfect for you. Here we have the four of wands, the page of pentacles, the five of wands, the devil card, the ace of wands, and the six of wands. All right, here we go. Here we go. So... A cycle has closed. Somebody no longer feels chained to the devil, right? Chained to the devil is your ego, you know, feeling like I got to be there for everybody. They just pulling on my, my energy, my lower vibration self where I'm completely worn out. Somebody feels like those days are over. I'm focusing on my home life, right? My home life. Your home life could mean just you. I'm focusing on my peace. I'm focusing on pouring back into myself because I'm at a higher frequency now. I can't be so bothered with everybody and their issues pulling me down, right? Pulling me down to their own personal hell. Here we have the five of wands and the four of wands, right? This is people trying to start little petty arguments with you. This is people who have their own little, they're in their own personal hell and they're trying to invite you, trying to send you a hot invitation to their hell. You're not interested, right? You're not interested. You're not even giving it, you're not giving it any energy whatsoever. Matter of fact, for some of you all, you all are inspired by new love or new interest or some kind of new inspiration coming across your life, inspiring you to gallop on out of there, right? And I see you being victorious at doing that. So there's a lot of fire here, you know, in your chart. Also, that fire is inspiring you to ascend higher. I always tell people when you ascend higher, you reach up and you grab the things that you've been praying for a lot sooner. And for some of you all, it's going to look like the energy of money coming across your path. So if you've been waiting on maybe a tax refund, or you've been waiting on like an increase in terms of a new position, um, and that's an increase at work or a new position or like a, um, like a uh, promotion or something, something with the energy of money is trying to make its way to you. But it's because you have, you have released, this is this right here, this four of wands right here. You are free from the chains of responsibility about something, right? And so that could be anything. It, it could be anything that you're free from the chains of responsibility. So somebody's feeling free. You're not in your lower frequency anymore. Woe is me. Everybody keeps trying to take advantage of me. And this person did this to me and that. And I'm trying to be the, the flame in everybody's life. And nobody's the flame in my sight. You're coming out. You're coming out. You come out of that mindset. And I see you being victorious moving forward. So something that was keeping somebody bound, like feeling like I feel like I got to be responsible responsible to everybody around me that's over that's over and the more and more we the closer and closer we get to this um this this full moon in aries again which is one of your sister signs that's important to note because that's extra fire up under you all right and so it's what, what are you going to do with that fire are you going to inspire other people with that fire or are you going to burn people with that fire so i already see you're going to inspire people with the fire so that's a good thing right and and so like I said before, we are when we move through when we move through these phases, it's really teaching all of us how to um, become inspired to change. If we want something different, we're going to have to do something different, right? And so that's what's happening here. So I do see you being victorious at just being free from any kind of demonic energy, and we're not calling a person a demon, even if it's your ex. It doesn't matter. We're not calling a person a demon. It's the chains of feeling responsible for something, right? Feeling like I got to be there for everybody. I got to I gotta be the, the, the shining bright star in everybody's life. No, you don't. No, you don't. So here we have the king of pentacles. We have the six of uh, swords. We have the eight of swords. We have the seven of cups. And we also have the eight of wands. 
The sooner you stop trying to be everybody's sunlight in their life and help and instead take that same flame in you and, and help somebody find the flame in themselves, watch how quickly things happen for you. Because somebody keeps sabotaging themselves, trying to um, trying to be everything to everybody. And Source is like, no, your ancestors are trying to help you lead you out of that mindset. This is also part of your change, too, because that's self-sabotage. Yeah, self sabotage. Yeah, that is self sabotage. Like, who's doing all of that? Trying to be the sun in everybody's life. We got, you know, you got to think to yourself, you're not the only Leo on the planet, right? And so, but be, but beyond that, we are not other people's gods, right? And so, you can inspire other people to say, hey, you know what? Instead of instead of me, um, instead of me calling my friend who has a business that can get you the job. Show me what you've done so far. You're pretty smart. You know, you're pretty smart. You, you are, you know, I remember when you always had a job or something. Let me, let me, you know, like lighting a flame in them, inspiring them instead of always just giving and giving and giving and giving and giving so that you'll see that they're at least putting forth an effort because the, the you in the past, this is how you got changed to the, de the devil energy. The you in the past was afraid that, Hey, if, if I don't do it for them, Nobody else is going to do it. They're going to fall. They're going to fail. Things are not going to work out for them. This is you saying, I'm the, with the flame in me, I'm going to light a flame in you, right? I'm going to inspire you so I can look back at you and say, wow, I'm really proud that this person actually did it for themselves, right? So again, you got a lot of good things coming at you and it's coming at you fast, right? You got more money coming across your path. Some of you all have love life, you know, coming across your path, other opportunities coming across your path. So, so the, you're using your flame differently this time. That's what, that's what this full moon is inspiring you to do. It's, it's act sooner so that you don't feel like, man, I'm tied to this. That's like, that's like somebody co-signing on a loan for somebody that doesn't have a job or somebody that you know is going to quit the job as soon as you co-sign for them and now the, all the responsibility is on you. Then you feel foolish, you feel angry, you're upset. It just feels like it was a bait and switch situation or whatever the case may be. Instead, you're saying, no, you know what? I'll go with you to the dealership. I'll talk to that person because that's the energy. That's the energy of money too. You could be using your time to be making money, but instead you're sitting in a dealership with them. This is just an example, right? You're sitting in a dealership with them, talking to the guy, negotiating a deal from them, but you're not signing on that co-signer line. <laughs> you're not doing that, right? You're like, Mercury is no longer retrograde. It is crystal clear to me. I am not confused. There are no garbled messages coming through. No, I am no co not co-signing for this person. So again, here we have the uh, Seven of Cups. You got a lot of temptations coming your way. And the temptations, some of them are going to be good. Some of them are not going to be good. But the good thing is that Mercury is not retrograde right now. And so you'll be crystal clear. So as things are happening for you, I don't want you to feel like they're too good to be true, Leos. It's happening for you for a reason because you're learning how to say no but not in a way that's harsh to people. Like when you get so frustrated, you're like, oh my God, you're so trifling. I can't believe you want me to co-sign for a car. They're looking at you like, why not? You have good credit. <laughs> you have the money. Why wouldn't I ask you, right? And you getting frustrated. Instead of you, you know, making them feel bad, you're going to say, no, I'll go out. You know what? My time is precious because you got to remind them that your time is precious. My time is precious. I'll go with you to the dealership. What day you want to go? But I'm not co-signing. I'm not co-signing, right? So like I said, you got a lot of good things coming across your path. And so uh, the you today is very, very different where you're not over giving. You're, you're again, inspiring people, light, lighting their flame, um, helping them to see the light within themselves. So this is very nice. Very, very nice, Leos. Very nice. And watch how fast things happen for you. Watch how quickly you make it to this throne and watch how quickly you become wealthy because you're seeing your time is currency, not necessarily the amount of money in your account. It's like, you know what? I can inspire you. And, and so again, you're pouring into them, but your expectations is that what are they pouring back into you besides like a heavyweight burden, you know, on your spirit, right? So yeah. 
So let's see what else we have going on here. But I do see you being victorious, you know, moving forward. I see you being very, very happy. You're no longer tied to something that was really weighing you down. So um, here we have the Ten of Cups. Oh, nice. All right. So, yeah, somebody, like I said, is going to meet a new and exuberant love. So something from your past is over. And I see you moving forward, you know, with your person. And uh, and so that's why it's important to release the past because the person is coming in fast. The person is coming in fast. And even if you're, let's say you're currently in a romantic relationship and it's a happy, healthy relationship, this is about not only a new person coming into your life, you're a new person. You're at peace. So that's where this ties in right here. This is feminine energy, uh, pentacles and cups energy is feminine energy. Because you're at peace and you are vetting, where's the card? You're vetting all the great opportunities coming your way. You don't come off as agitated in a person who hasn't had rest. So you're irritated, agitated, frustrated because you're still chained to an old way of thinking. That I got to be everybody's savior. Not intentionally, but that I have to be everybody's savior because if I don't do it, then I don't know if it's going to get done or if it's going to get done right. Right? So let's see. Oh, that card fell out. Good card fell out. Let's see. Oh, Knight of Cups. Yeah. This is how people will always see you. People in your family saw you as a knight in shining armor. Your friends see you as a knight in shining armor. Ex lovers saw you as a knight in shining armor because you're givers. And so you're learning how to. Put some of that flame out a little bit when it comes to coming to everybody's rescue. That's what I'm saying for you all. And so, but the way that you're doing it is in a very compassionate way. Um, like I said, you're not going to get, because imagine always coming to somebody's rescue and, and feeling burned out and then getting frustrated because when you need, on the rare occasion that you need their help, they're, no, they're not available. Either they can't do it or they, they're not willing to do it, right? So, or not willing to help. So let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading. Let's see what we have here, Leos, before we close out your reading. But yeah, a lot of things are changing. And watch how quickly you balance things out and how wealthy you become as a result of it. Courage. That's right. Courage. A cup of courage. So when you think about Mars, Mars is that planet, that planet that gives us energy. We all need energy, right? Mars is that planet to do it. It's going to give you all extra energy, right? And that extra energy is going to be very positive energy, just so you know ahead of time. There's going to be people around you that's going to feel some kind of way. But the way you're going to do it is in such a... Um, in a, such a gentle way, this is not going to make people feel bad because Mars is the planet of assertion and action, right? It's also the planet of competition. So you're not going to see them as competition. You're not going to see lighting their flame as them surpassing you, right? Because you're backed by the sun, so you already don't have any competition. It's also the planet of survival, the planet of strength, capacity for action, courage, and um, being more daring. It's also the planet of anger, sexual drive, a fighting spirit, energy, vitality, conflict, right? And so all of that passion, all of that energy, you're going to use it for good. So again, at a higher frequency, the things that you've been praying for are being released to you sooner. So you're not going to stay bound to feeling like you got to come save everybody's life. Or come save the day, right? So here we go. Um, courage. All things are working out in my favor. I have the power to rebuild myself. I am not my circumstances. I rise regardless of my past. I honor myself through my actions. I honor my truth through my words. I am stronger than yesterday. That's right. That's right. That's right. Leo's. You got a lot of good things coming your way, but you're just tweaking it a little bit. And so this full moon in Aries is going to give you the power and strength to do that and certainly the energy to do it. And for you specifically, um, you're going to feel like a hero, but not it's because it's not because you're over giving your time and your energy. You're going to feel like a hero because you found out that's the secret is to inspire other people. But why do you have, you have the backing of the sun? You are actually healing other people. You're teaching them how to turn on the light within themselves, Leo. And so that's what's going to, and so that's how source is going to reward you for like finally figuring it out. That's how it's going to happen. So, um, that's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye.